Hi, I'm Vince Weston. And it has been a long time since I put together a video, but a lot of that was due to spring coming early. Uh, lots of things to do outside here. And um, also uh, our lovely spring weather that we have here. Um, we had a tornado touch down about, well, I don't know, within, about within a mile and a half of my house which in the time that I've lived here that's the closest I've ever come uh, tonight was another night of uh, severe thunderstorms and there was actually I believe two tornadoes touched down not anywhere near me but in the general vicinity um, so but anyway we're not here to talk about the weather um, <clears throat> One thing I do want to bring up right from the get-go is there is a dangerous virus which appears to be going through the the YouTube modeling community, and I think it's Tom at Rambler69 started it and has passed it on to me. Um, there's my green marble starting my collection. Uh, it was a can of uh, the infamous old dull, dull coat, and I've decided to rescue a few things besides the marble. Of course, the nozzle. You can always reuse these. Uh, I, I've still got to soak this in um, some lacquer thinner, but that'll be reusable. And I also stole the neoprene tubing out of the inside. Uh, I didn't hacksaw mine. I used a, an old-fashioned can opener and just opened the bottom completely and reached in. Uh, from everything I'm hearing from everybody else, uh, interestingly enough, the tester stuff seems to, I don't know, use up the most of the paint. Uh, there have been mentions by um, Tom at Rambler69 and Darren Shanks of finding lots of paint still inside those cans and when I opened this one there was basically nothing left just a little bit of propellant I had to get rid of and that was that um, also I don't want to forget my friend Kenny who's, who's infected with this virus also uh, he's got a bigger collection than all of us I guess so far <laughs> All right, but anyway, the the reason we're here is to discuss uh, my slow progress on the auto gyro, uh, and it has been very slow. I haven't been able to get a lot of time at the bench, as I mentioned, because of uh, our early spring. But I finally gotten most of the main pieces completed, and I made up my own uh, decals uh, instead of what I had originally thought of doing. Um, I don't know how well that's going to come out, but uh, there's the registration and also um, underneath here is uh, markings that were similar to what is on uh, the champion. And just to make sure I, I don't say it incorrectly, it says Picarin Auto Gyro, built by Picarin Aircraft Company Inc. Willow Grove, Pennsylvania. And yes, it actually does say that and you probably can't see it. And I, I shrank it down to be small enough and using uh, Word and printed it on decal material and got it on there. Uh, also, I have the registration on the wings, once again, homemade. Uh, I did have to replace this one. I had way too much silvering in it, and uh, I basically just couldn't stand it anymore, tore it off, printed another one, and and just put that one on yesterday. Uh, just dull coated that side of the wing again. The entire main pieces have been dull coated. 
Um, I guess I should show the fuselage a little bit better. My stripe worked out pretty well. The red with the two tones of blue came out pretty nice. I'm, I'm happy. Uh, that was uh, Tester's uh, masking tape I used there. So I got a good, a good straight line out of it. I'm, I'm really pretty happy. Let's see what else. Oh, um, I did use the kit decals on the main rotor, top and bottom. Uh, the decal is provided with a little red tip because uh, Miss Champion actually had red tips on her main rotor, which I didn't want on this because I put. And these are actually blue. They're a very dark blue, not uh, black. So I spent uh, an hour trimming them off. <laughs> All eight of them. They got these little tiny slivers. Uh, worked out pretty well. It took quite a while to decal these and get everything lined up top and bottom. Some salva set around the edges to get them to wrap down, and uh, that's been dull coated. And as I said, most of the uh, main pieces are done. Just needs some assembly. Sorry, I'm having a tough time balancing that. Um, the other thing I did do, which probably isn't going to show on camera, is I put the brake lines. I just did that last night. There, you'll see little silver lines, maybe if it catches the light right. And uh, kit decals on the uh, propeller, which once again is probably not going to show too well. It's kind of small stuff. But the, the main pieces are done. Uh, I've started to work on uh, the detail pieces. Um, let's see. Right here is actually the four uh, droop, I'm going to say it wrong, shock dampening arm, damper arms. I'm sure they won't even really come out on camera. The little tiny loops with a square piece at the end made out of wire supplied by or with the kit. Uh, I found that uh, this old speaker wire I have is basically the same gauge. Um, one side was silver, one side was copper, so I've peeled up a little of the silver, or aluminum, whichever it actually is, I'm not really sure, it's probably aluminum, to use. Uh, I still have, um, what other nasty pieces do I have to make out of that? Uh, the uh, stable, something with the stabilizers. Um, and the rudder cables so I figured I needed a little bit more of that the main um, bungee cord which of course is in the directions here hopefully you can see it goes around that's where the the, the dampeners go and that's actually at a monofilament as is the rigging will be monofilament once I get there so that's basically where I'm at. Uh, I still have to make, uh, well I still have all those little pieces to make and of course the windshields. So I've got quite a, quite a bit of work to, to still do and the droop cables and also I need to do some assembly. Um, they did suggest doing the, uh, the decals uh, before assembly and I wish I had done that with the, the main rotor because it probably would have been easier to work on one blade at a time as opposed to having to rotate them or around to work on them and turn them upside down and so that was uh, that was a fun evening so that's where I'm at at the moment suffering with my uh, marble virus uh, looking forward to opening another can of paint and seeing what they got inside of that. I've got all sorts of paints, so maybe I'll get some different ones on, on, on that one too. 
Um, but that's it. Thanks for watching, and thanks for subscribing. Appreciate it. Please leave comments. I, I really enjoy comments. Usually gives me a little fun. And we'll talk to you later. Thanks. Bye-bye.